Hey y'all, so I'm back outside. It is Wednesday. The time is about 6 p.m. So I wanted to go ahead and get started with finishing up my patio space and just kind of cleaning it off um, after the hurricane, after the storms. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a big, yeah, it's a mess. Anyway, so I wanna show y'all what the space looks like right quickly and we're gonna dive right into this video. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so here is a quick overview of what my entire patio space looks like. As you can see, there is a lot of junk, debris everywhere. This area is probably one of the worst. But yeah, so I'm going to take my time today and try to clean off all of this stuff, clean up my flower beds, and just really, really give this little space here some love and attention. Um, I was planning to just kind of really do something a little different with the patio area because remember I told you guys that this area is going to be undergoing a complete renovation real soon. But in the meantime, I do want to make it presentable. I want to make it welcoming. I also have to tackle this space over here as well. This, y'all, this is a mess. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, you guys. <laughs> This space needs some TLC, some serious TLC. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to complete all of this area. In today's video, whatever I don't complete, I'll just finish it up in Sunday's video because this is going to take some serious, serious time. But I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do what I can do. Uh, that's all I can do. But in the meantime, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. so slow progress but I wanted to uh, right quickly stop and show you all this plant that I got from my mom I wish I had taken a picture of it when it was in full bloom but you can see where over here is starting to bloom again if anybody knows the name of this plant let me know I do know that they tend to multiply so that's why I'm keeping it contained in this pot I will not be planting this in the yard because it will literally take over everything. But I really, really like this. It's so pretty. It gets really, really tall. So let me know in the comments, you guys, if you know the name of this particular plant. It's so pretty. It looks kind of on the tropical side. I really, really love this. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. All right, y'all, so I decided to undertake this particular space next because it is such a huge eyesore, as you guys can see. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Uh, this might be the whole video. I'm not even sure, <laughs> but we're going to do what we can do, you guys. Right, 
now so the time is about 6 43 p.m and i just want to show you all my progress so far still have quite a ways to go um like i mentioned before whatever i don't get a chance to finish in this video i will just pick up where i left off in sunday's video but what i'm thinking about doing now that i'm cleaning off the patio getting everything nice and spiffy i think i want to start back enjoying this space i want to you know add some seating not nothing fancy i'm just going to use some uh, some little chairs that i had before because i have some major renovations planned for this patio space but in the meantime till that happens i still want to be able to enjoy the space so i am going to make it really really nice uh clean and i'm going to show you guys what else i'm thinking about doing and this will be for Sunday's video as well. All right, so making good strides so far. I still have to rake up the leaves and everything. But one of the things I want to do in this area here, I was looking at this tree. I want to cut down a few of these branches because they're hanging kind of low. So I think I'm going to trim, trim up the tree just a little bit, cut down uh, maybe like those three lower branches here. So then that way is the tree isn't and you can see how this one here the limb is almost touching the trash can it's kind of low so i'm gonna trim that up really good and then also what i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and and of course it, it won't be in today's video for sure i'm gonna go ahead and finish pressure washing this whole entire portion of the fence and i'm gonna go ahead and stain it yeah so I'm going to go ahead and pressure wash it, stain it, and just really, really clean in this area and have it looking really, really nice. So that's the plan. This is the area that I normally keep my trash cans. So yeah, that's what I want to do in this area here as well. But again, this will be in Sunday's video. But for right now, I am going to try to rake up the leaves and finish cleaning out this little space. So then that way, come Sunday, all I have to do is pressure wash, paint, and yeah, I'm good to go. The time is almost 7 30 p.m and i'm about to call it a night uh, because i want to give myself a chance to edit the video um but i didn't get as much done as i was hoping and of course that's because i started today <laughs> anyway it is what it is but i do want to show you how far i've gotten um and what i had planned for sunday's video um so some of the projects that i had initially planned to undertake in today's video like for example moving that rug i wasn't able to do that but let me show you what i did do and hopefully you guys can see this so i did manage to clean this area which you guys could see was just horrendous so that's probably why i didn't get a chance to finish everything is because I really wasn't planning to really finish this space in this video, but I did. I did get it clean. 
Um, the only thing I have to do now is put my trash cans back and just make everything nice and neat. But before I do that, like I mentioned, I am gonna pressure wash the fence and just finish staining it. But like I said before, all of this is gonna be concreted. So let me just show y'all right over here. So this is all the stuff that came from from that little area that I just showed you where the trash cans were, except for the, the chairs and the table, of course. So I am gonna be stacking this up, you know, back really neatly. A lot of this I'm gonna dispose of. For example, I don't think I'm gonna keep that grill. I'm gonna get rid of the grill. And um, these items here, I'm just gonna put these in a container. But yeah, so y'all will see all of that on Sunday. But for the most part, got a lot done to say that I started today um, so I actually it, it took me a few hours um, well actually not even a few hours because I started at about 6 and it's like about a little after 7 30 so it didn't take me long it was a lot to do especially in this area but I'm pretty happy got a lot done so Sunday We'll finish this up, and again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this rug or if I'm going to just pressure wash it and just keep it on here for right now until um, I get the space renovated, which is going to be coming up really, really soon. So we'll see. But in the meantime, this is where we're at. I'm trying to keep this area here clean as much as I can. So right now I know it looks like I basically moved the junk from one location to another location, but all of that's going to change once I get everything pressure washed and uh, get everything stained and then put everything back neatly. I know it's probably hard to see the vision right now, but trust me, by Sunday this is going to be so inviting, so welcoming, and I really, really can't wait for that. I'm super excited about that. Uh, just to be able to come out here enjoy the space and just not be you know overwhelmed by all the junk and the debris a lot of that stuff i am going to get rid of so i am excited i'm excited about sunday but i'm so happy i got this area cleaned that was the the area i was dreading <laughs> but uh yeah so um I'm so happy I got it done, you guys. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and watching today's video. And I'll be seeing you guys really, really soon. Until then, have a blessed and wonderful week.